Hey everybody, Mike here from DIY Aqua Pros. Today we're talking about nitrogen-based compounds in the aquarium, specifically nitrite, NO2- and nitrate, NO3-. We're going to talk about where they come from, the relative toxicity, and how they can be removed biologically. Let's start our discussion. We'll start by briefly discussing nitrite, NO2-. Nitrite is almost exclusively generated by the oxidation of ammonia by nitrifying bacteria in the genus Nitrosomonas. As long as we have a stable community of beneficial bacteria, we shouldn't be able to detect this compound in our aquarium. If you can detect nitrite, you are most likely deficient in the appropriate amount of nitrobacter. This may be common in newly set up aquariums where the nitrogen cycle may not be running efficiently. You can quickly solve this problem by obtaining a fresh culture of beneficial bacteria from the aquarium store. Now nitrite is less toxic than ammonia but can still harm fish even at low concentrations. Nitrite is further oxidized by nitrobacter to the less toxic form nitrate. In the aquarium we'll almost always see moderate concentrations of this compound. Now nitrate can be used in a few different ways. Plants, algae, and microorganisms may decide to consume it for use in nitrogen assimilation if no better form of nitrogen is available. In anaerobic zones, areas in the aquarium with no measurable oxygen, such as the substrate, a process called denitrification can take place. This is performed by bacteria that are responsible for the full reduction of nitrate to nitrogen gas, which can then leave the aquarium. Nitrate concentrations can also be reduced by doing routine water changes. To review, nitrite is a moderately toxic compound which comes primarily from the oxidation of ammonia by bacteria in the genus Nitrosomonas. It's generally short-lived in the aquarium because it's quickly oxidized to nitrate by bacteria in the genus Nitrobacter. Nitrate is less toxic than ammonia and nitrite. It can be removed by plants, algae, and microorganisms, and it can also be removed by doing water changes. To learn more about the biological science taking place in your aquarium, as well as a growing list of do-it-yourself projects, check out more of the content on our channel and website.